what are we gonna do? We're gonna do the uh, section C for the CDL retrieve inspection test. So the very first thing that you're gonna do, you're gonna check your header board, you're gonna make sure that all the rivets are tight and secure. They're not damaged on the header board. Then after that, you're gonna get down right here. And you're gonna check for your combination lights. So you got your combination lights right here. They're red in color, they're blinkers. There's stop signs, all right? This is your reverse lights right here. Make sure it's in proper color, no water, no condensation, no losing or missing screws. As soon as you finish with that, you're gonna check your trailer frame. On the trailer frame, you got the cross member. When you check at the, the front trailer frame, you're gonna check for these rivets. Make sure you don't have no losing or missing rivets all the way around. And you're gonna check for your cross members. These guys run there. All the cross members run there. Make sure they're in good shape, they're not cracked, no bent, and especially um, no loosening missing rivets. Then, after that, you're gonna come right here and you're gonna start talking about of your landing gear. All right, this is your landing gear, the whole components right here, right there. All right, this is your landing gear frame right here. All right, then this is your landing gear crank. When you check your landing gear, you're gonna make sure that it's not losing missing bolts or screws. Uh, make sure they are in good shape. So, uh, you're checking your two legs. You got one right here, one right there. Make sure when you crank in this thing, make sure when you crank in this thing, it goes up and down together. If they're not going together, something's not right. All right? Then after that, you're gonna change for your landing foot right there, landing gear legs. There's a different name that you can call it, but this, those are the most important ones. Make sure the landing gear is all the way up. Make sure it's in good shape. Make sure it's properly lubricated, because sometimes it's not proper lubrication on it, and it's kind of hard to get it down. Then after that, you're gonna check for your handle. Make sure it's in the locking position. What this thing do is controls the legs to go up and down. Remember that, all right? And after that, what you're gonna do, you're gonna check the side of the trailer. When you check the side of the trailer, you're gonna make sure the sidewall is completely in good shape. It's not cracked or broken. Then after that, you're gonna check the little light right here, which is kind of hard to see it at this point. But, uh, let me see. There we go. That's your class, class light. You got two on each side. It's an amber in color. You know, water, no condensation. And it's holding by uh, by pressure. Then after that, you're gonna go. Up, you're gonna come right here, and you're gonna check for your um, what do you call this ones? This is the duty stickers. Make sure they are clean, not damaged or faded. Properly attached to the vehicle, and make sure they are present according with the DOT regulation. All right, all the way around. Then after that, you're gonna check for your blinkers. Blinker lights, make sure there's proper color, amber and color, no water, no condensation, no losing, missing rivets or screws. Depends on the truck. All right, you have one in the back as well. That's the marker light, make sure it's in a proper color, red color, which sure is working properly. Then after that, you're gonna get under the vehicle. You're gonna start checking for your slide. Um, slide right here. This is for the for your tires, the tendons to distribute your, the, the, to distributing the weight. So if you have too much weight in the back, you can slide a little bit more to the back. If you need to, to have control the weight in the middle, you can control the weight in the middle. So you're gonna check this slide. You're gonna make sure it's in good shape. It's not cracked. It's not broken. It's not factory welds. Make sure the pins right here. The pins. You're supposed to have four pins, two in the uh, two in the front. I mean, one and one each side. All right, all right. Make sure it's in good shape. Uh, this one is control. The sliding pin is controlled by this guy right here. It's a push uh, push button right here. Push button release. All right. So if you push it down, I mean, you pull it. These guys will be come out. I mean, they're going to go in. See, they're going in right now. Right, to release it. So then I, if I push it in, they come out. All right, so make sure they're in good shape. 
Then after that, you're gonna check for uh, your uh, hoses right here. And the reason why the hoses there are like that is when you using the slide and this entire thing is slide all the way to the back, the hoses they need to follow in. So you're gonna check these hoses. You're gonna make sure the hoses they're in good shape. You have proper connection, no uh, no um, air leaking. And make sure the hoses they're not, they're not they're not touching the floor. Most of the hoses uh, they don't have this kind of uh, spring. But if you have the spring, that's that's perfect. You're checking for the spring. But make, make sure these hoses they are like a between 20 inches to 8 inches away from the floor. Otherwise they can get damaged. All right. Um, yeah. So some of the other trucks they have like a like a um, like a barring here. To release in the brakes. I mean to release in the, the pins. Let me go and find one. Alright, fortunately I didn't find one. So anyway, if you most of these brand new trucks they have like that, a push button release. Some of the old trucks they have like a board, a low board that you need to check it that is uh is in the lucky position. The lucky position most of the time is all the way in the bottom. And the releasing is when you're pulling up on this one. The lucky position is when it's all the way in and the release of this one is out all right so make sure it's not leaking because it's controlled by air all right then after that you're gonna check your suspension system what we got right here is the torsion bar which is this guy right there all right you're gonna make sure it's uh, properly secured by this bolt then after that you're gonna check for your oh, let me get down here all right, we're gonna need some light so you guys can see it. The rest of the components that we have in the suspension system. All right. Uh, okay, I guess we can see better. Yeah, definitely, yep. All right, that's the air bellow. Make sure it's secure top and bottom. Make sure all the hoses there are properly secure and there's no leaking any air. All right, then after that, after you're checking that, Oh, it's not ABC. Make sure it's, you don't have no ABC on that. Abrasion, bulges and cuts, and your air bellows, all right? Then after that, you're gonna check for your um, shock absorber. See, it's this guy right there. All right, let me try to put this light somewhere. All right, this is a shock absorber. Make sure it's secure, top, bottom. Make sure it's not leaking in the middle, your rubber, cushions that you have inside make sure they're secure they're not dry rod make sure it's not leaking all right as soon as you finish with that you're gonna check for your brake system when you check your brake system you're gonna check your rear brake hose from right here it goes from right there and goes to that tank over there no not the, to the tank it goes to the distributor air distributor all right so now when you're checking your um your brake system, you're gonna check for your air brake hose, make sure it's not brake motion cuts on your hoses, make sure there's no bubbles, make sure there's proper connection on the fittings, and it's connected to the brake chamber. Now we have the brake chamber, now we need to talk about the brake chamber. The brake chamber is upside down. As you guys can see it, it's upside down. Run right there, make sure when you're checking the, the Air brake chamber, make sure it's properly secure right here by the bolts. Make sure the clamp, there are no, mis no losing missing clamps. Make sure it's not dense, make sure it's uh, no leaks on it. So you're gonna listen for leaks. All right, then after that, you're gonna check for your push roll. It's a little bit hard to see it for the push roll. It's just right there. It's connected to the slack adjuster by these uh, pins. Now you're gonna make sure the push roll, you have a free movement. Uh, make sure the push roll and the slack adjuster doesn't move more than one inch um, otherwise it needs to get adjusted the slack adjuster make sure it's properly lubricated if it's moving more than one inch remember you need to adjust all right then after that you're gonna check for your brake links <laughs> this guy's right there I don't know. there we go around here this guys make sure it's not cracked make sure you have enough make sure is in good shape then after that you're gonna check for your air brake drum which is kind of hard to see it i know it's right here inside brake drum air brake drum i mean the brake drum 
Make sure you don't have no oil or grease. Make sure it's not cracked. You have oil or grease, what's gonna happen? You're gonna have no brakes. Then after that, you're gonna come out and you're gonna start checking for your rim. Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna start checking from inside, uh, I mean, yeah, in, inside out. Where we got right here is the hub oil seal. Make sure it's secure, make sure you don't have no leaks on it. What you have inside is oil. Make sure it's in the proper level. If you're not be able to see it on the side glass, you have to open it at this thing and check it for a proper level. All right? Then after that, you're gonna check for, uh, make sure the bolts are tight and secure. Then you're gonna check for your um, uh, valve stamp right here. All right? Make sure it's secure in this kind of case. Make sure it is, uh, you're using that one for to check the pressure on the tire. Normally these tires are like 100 PSI. You're gonna use a, a tire gauge to check for the pressure. Then after that, you're gonna check for your lug nuts right here. Make sure the lug nuts are turned secure all the way around. Make sure they are uh, not loose. Make sure they are uh, no rust behind it that indicate looseness, all right? Then after that, you're gonna check your rim. When you check your rim, you're gonna make sure that it's not cracked CVB. Crab banger bracket. Make sure there's no factory welds on it. Then you're gonna check your tires. When you check your tires, you're gonna check the outer, the outer, the middle, the inner tire, and both tires. And you're gonna make sure that it's not ABC, abrasion bolts and cuts. Make sure it's properly inflated. Make sure the these tires cannot recap, be recapped or regroup it. I mean these tires can be recapped or regroup it. Make sure there's no the deep tread deep tread on the tires is no less than 232. All right. Now these dual tires, when you check in the dual tires, you're gonna make sure that they are not touching each other. Because if they're touching each other, there's guess, guess what? It's gonna explode. It can create fire. Make sure there's no debris in the middle, like it rocks or anything like that. All right. Remember, we're doing section C. Then after that, you can, if the guy, he say, don't worry about this tire, don't worry about that tire. Who's playing on the day of the test. Uh, but if you say yes, explain to me, so you need to explain the whole thing all over again. Then after that, you're gonna come right here, you're gonna check for your splash guard. When you're checking your splash guard, you're gonna make sure all the bolts are tight and secure. Make sure the splash guard is in good shape, it's not crack. Coming up right here, you're gonna check for your ABS light, make sure the ABS light is working. How are you gonna know that it's working? When you fire out the truck for three seconds, this, will, this light will be remaining on. If it's remaining on for almost more than three seconds, Something's not right with your ABS. If it doesn't come on, so on those uh, three seconds, something's not right as well. All right. Then after that, you're gonna come out right here, and you're gonna check for your lights. You got your uh, two ID light. I mean, three ID lights in the middle, and two clearance lights on the sides. Two clearance lights on the sides, and the three in the middle. You're gonna make sure they're on the proper color, which was red color. No water, no condensation. Make sure it's, uh, it doesn't have a, it's holding by the pressure. Make sure they're working properly. Then after that, you're gonna check for your blinkers. Blinkers for your stoplight. On this one, you're gonna need help with a with a little bit of system with your um, with a person who's gonna uh, testing you to see if it's working properly or not. So you're just gonna ask nicely, all right? That's actually where we, you know, that's what you're gonna do when you're doing the in-cap test. All right, then after that, you're gonna check for your equipment, make sure your equipment is in good shape or the chains are in good shape. They're not, um, they're not loose or anything like that. Then after that, you're gonna check for your door. Make sure that your equipment goes up and down, obviously. Nice and neat. You can get over here. And you're gonna check for your strap, which means this is strap right here. Make sure it's in good shape. Well, this one's a little bit damaged, but make sure it's in good shape. Make sure this thing is supposed to be inside on the on the in, on the trailer. Make sure you're checking your latch right here. Make sure it works properly. No missing, missing bolts or screws. Make sure that the, the the door rolls up and down. So the day of the test, you have to open. I know it's a little bit cold, so I can't open it right now. But um, yeah, make sure it's working properly. Make sure you lock it. It's gonna have to operate with one hand. Make sure this, um, your equipment goes up. 
case your lift gate goes up. Pretty much what we're doing is section C. All right. Then after that, yo, what you're gonna do? You're gonna check for your bumper. Make sure your bumper is not losing or missing bolts. Even there, not some bolts. Make sure that uh, there doesn't have no modifications on it. Make sure it doesn't fact doesn't have no unfactor wells or holes. And make sure the DOT DOT sticker bumper is in good shape. It's clean and clear according with the DOT regulation. If you need to check this other side, you're gonna to say to the guy, sir, I'm gonna check this other side the same way with the on the other side. If you say to check the whole thing all over again, so you're gonna check the whole thing all over again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the section C for the CDL tests.